Hi, good morning. Welcome to the National Alliance booth in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, my name is Chuck Nice. I am a faculty member in risk management insurance at Florida State University. And I'm here this morning with M Emily Wegman. Hello. Emily is a graduating senior from Florida State University. I am. And uh, Emily is one of our risk management and insurance students. And uh, Emily's done a couple things at Florida State that we wanted to talk about this morning. So, Emily, we'll always start talking about the, uh, the sales challenge. Absolutely. So I've been very lucky to be in such a program that focuses really on their students, has great advisors and faculty, just like Dr. Nice. Um, but we did the insurance sales challenge uh, about a month ago. So they pitted eight insurance students against eight sales or professional sales majors in a um, two-round competitive uh, case co small case competition. Um, the first round was more of like a meeting style, so you are trying to get the, the pain points out of your, your client. Um, and I was able to advance onto the second round, and the second round is where you kind of presented your findings as to how we could provide solutions for you. And you were paired, you were paired with a professional sales major, and we, I ended up coming in third place with my teammate. Uh, it was very good professional development because I'll be going into sales. So I definitely wanted to participate before my tenure at FSU is done. Emily, you've done a couple things while you've been here at FSU. You've also been the president of our Gamma Iota Sigma chapter. Absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about what your role was in that? Yeah, so um, being president encompasses a lot of different things, I will say. Um, probably most things that I really grew on was public speaking. Uh, I was in front of multi rooms of multiple people, like very large crowds. I um, think that helped in many facets, especially since I was on the REMS case competition team for this year. Um, being able to hold my composure in a, a room with some pretty important individuals definitely helped me grow being president. Um, managing 15 other people that were on the exec board was definitely something new that I had never done before. Uh, also having over 140 members in Gamma Eta Sigma and getting to know them as president um, will only help with like networking in the future, remembering names like that. So uh, when you leave, you said you're going into a sales position. Uh, what mm -hmm. kind of sales position? Yeah, into? I'll be a, a broker at Amwin's Access down in Palm Beach Gardens. Uh, there's actually a good amount of FSU alumni, and that's how I got the connection through there. Um, last year, one of my really good friends started working down there, and he's like, come meet my boss back in October. And I was like, sure, I'll just go hang out for like a casual <laughs> a casual night. It ended up turning into, hey, like we really like your work ethic and what you stand for. How do you want to interview? So uh, it was the FSU connections that got me to where I am today. So GIS, mm -hmm. sales competition, the, our risk management challenge you mentioned as well. Mm -hmm. That was uh, this weekend here while we're in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that for any future students that may be out there? Absolutely. To uh, the RIMS case competition was probably the most in-depth thing I did with our major. It was very challenging, but also learned a lot from it. Uh, we started back in September with the case competition we received from PayPal. So we had to basically risk manage PayPal. You had to write a 10 page paper um, about the different risks that you had, if you had like a movement or a new solution that they could somehow see. And then uh, 23 teams submitted papers and uh, top nine were able to come to RIMS to present your findings in front of their board. So, um, that was, we we didn't end up making top three, which was yesterday, but definitely did a very great job. Uh, again, working on a team environment. Uh, I'm very, as students, we're very used to working on our own. Uh, so, like, having these project teams and being able to work in a group is something you're going to be doing a lot in the future in a job. So, um, I definitely learned a lot about team, team dynamics. <laughs> Um, but it was it was a fantastic opportunity and very lucky to be here in Philadelphia. Well, that team dynamic is probably going to serve you well when you get out into the broker field. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm hoping for. <laughs> so what about the future? Do you, have you thought about uh, what you're going to do in terms of designations or uh, mm -hmm. graduate school or any of that kind of fun stuff? Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to grad school. but um... Because I hate to interrupt you with our <laughs> wonderful master's program at Florida State <laughs> University. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to be doing grad school, but I already have part of the CIC and part of the CRM right. from both of the classes at FSU, which the National Alliance has been able to partner up with. Um, I'm, I have two of the CPCU desig or parts of the CPCU from um, school as well, so I'll probably focus on those three since I already have parts of it. Uh, hopefully bang a couple of those out in the next couple of years. <laughs> Good. Good to hear that. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. So do you have any words of advice for uh, people thinking about going into uh, the risk and insurance field or, uh, or people that are already in the risk and insurance field okay. that are thinking about uh, you know, designations or mm -hmm. graduate degrees or anything along Absolutely. Lines? For the people that are on the border, because I, I never came in thinking like, I'm going to be a risk management insurance major in college. I was like, oh, I'll just go into sales, marketing, like kind of the overview, which they're still great majors, don't get me wrong. But the focus that is put on these students and the RMI program and the opportunities given to them is unlike any major. I'm also a real estate major at Florida State, and again, a great major, but there is not half the events that we put on at an RMI program that is focused towards students. Um, so I would say definitely do it. I don't regret any of my decisions that I've made in this major. It's, it's all put me in more of a professional development mindset. Definitely, for, definitely furthered me there. Um, for people that are, what do you say, like thinking about designations, uh, I would say again, focus a lot on your classes because the teachers that we have are fantastic teachers and will help you to get towards those designations. And again, once you leave school, it's kind of hard to get back. And I think that study mindset. So it's like if you go right from school to kind of continuously learning, I think that'll help as well. Yeah, Emily, you're one of, actually, we brought 15 students with us here to RIMS. Mm -hmm. um, a few years ago, before we ended up partnering with the National Alliance at, at FSU, we were only able to bring three or four students. Wow. So it's a real great opportunity now for our students to come here. So, it definitely uh, is. I, I, I hate to say that you had to work your way to get here <laughs> as part of that risk management challenge team, but we have, we have a few students here just for the fun part of it oh, as absolutely. well. absolutely. So, um, we do appreciate everything that National Alliance has done for us. And absolutely. It's a great opportunity for students going forward. So. Emily, I'd like to thank Thank you for your time today. I'm glad you could come out. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy the rest of your time here in Philadelphia. It's a beautiful rainy day and 30 degrees outside, <laughs> but <laughs> you He's can't tell joking. that here in the convention center. <laughs> That's very true. Thanks, Emily. Well, I appreciate thank it. Thank you.